This tutorial will show you how to log in using PuTTY to your Ubuntu, Linux or Raspberry Pi server automatically without typing the username and password every single time you log in. To start off you will need putty.exe and puttygen.exe from the PuTTY website. Links will be, will be posted underneath the video in the video notes. So to start off with you need to open putty.exe Type in the IP address or host name of the server you wish to log into. Mine is 192.168.1.10. Make sure port is 22 if that is your port for SSH. That's the default SSH port. Now you'll see here under on the second panel, load, save or delete a stored session, your default settings. Highlight that, press save. If I press cancel now and reopen, it saved the IP address and the port number. So next, what you want to do is go to the connection section, go to data and type in the default username for your SSH session login. Mine is Pi because it's a Raspberry Pi. Go back to session, highlight default settings and save again. Now, what we're doing next is closing this, opening puttygen.exe or puttygen. If you haven't got uh, extension, file name extensions showing, it's just called puttygen. Now, what you do now is click the generate button, move your mouse cursor in this blank area here, backs and forwards just to generate some randomness. Now then, once that's completed, you'll have a box here saying public key for pasting into OpenSSH authorised keys file, authorised under, underscore keys file. You copy all of that, okay, everything, copy. Go to putty, log into your server. The first time you do this, it will say the service host key is not cached. You have no guarantee of safety, etc, etc. OK, just accept it because you do trust it. It's your server. Now type in your password. This is the last time you need to do this. Now, what you want to do, what I want to do actually, is set the uh, preferences so you can see the screen a bit better. There we go. Go to this directory, go to cd dot ssh. We put a tilde and a forward slash before it because it's in the home directory. So you go home directory dot ssh, do ls. There's no file there called authorized underscore hosts two, which is what we need. Sorry, unders authorized underscore keys two which is the file we need. So what we do now is do this. Remember we kept, we copied this key from here. Okay. Make sure, just do it again. Copy. Type these commands in. Echo. Open quotes. Just do a right click in the putty window. That key will be pasted in there. Close quotes. Right angle bracket. And then type in authorized with a Z. Underscore keys to and press return make sure that's spelt right yeah now that's basically generated a file called authorized underscore keys to with this key in it it's basically telling the um, Linux server this is a public key for this and and the it basically it expects the private key which is the other half of this key pair to be logged in and it'll, it'll compare the two when you, when you log in. Basically, when you log in with Putty, it'll give it. It'll send the private key to the server, and it'll compare it to the public key, and it'll match it, and it'll log you log you in without using uh, password. So now we do L. Sorry, clear the screen. Control L, LS. So now we have authorized keys to and, author, and known hosts. 
no, you want to, you want to ch mod the um, authorized keys too. So do ch mod six o o authorized keys two. Now you see it's got a ch mod of six hundred, which is read write and read read. Anyway, back. Let's log out of here. Back to the putty key generator, which you've obviously kept open all the time. Save private key. Now it's, you can actually enter a key passphrase here, which you'll have to enter every time you log in with putty, but that kind of defeats the object of having a password that's login. So leave that blank. Save private key. Are you sure you want to save this key without a passphrase to protect it? Yes. Um, my pi. I'll call that my pi. Okay. You can now close the key generator. Unless you want to put any comments in here. If you want to type a comment in here, you can put in generated by Matt, etc. Anyway, you need to then press save private key again. But anyway, so what you do now, open putty, go to SSH, go to auth, browse, and find the private key you just saved using putty gen. Open it. Go back to session, default settings, save. Now, when I open Putty again, and just press open to connect to the server, what it's going to do is going to automatically connect me to the server because it's uh, comparing public and private keys. There we go, we're logged in automatically. And that is how you do it. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye bye.